All right, time for my second review as a present to myself and my subscribers for the original 1980s RoboCop. A little bit after this, probably starting next year, I'm going to start reviewing RoboCop 2 and 3 in anticipation of the new remake reboot. But right now, we'll start off with the original classic 80s movie. stars Peter Weller and is directed by Paul Verhoeven who's brought us such things as Basic Instinct, Total Recall, Starship Troopers, and Showgirls. The story is about Alex Murphy, a cop in Detroit, the awful decrepit Detroit that this is set in the future and yet seems so realistic to how Detroit is now. It's just a horrible, bankrupt, decrepit, non-existent city almost. Him and another partner are going after this gang of awful, terrible people and uh, they kind of end up catching him and blow off every limb of Alex Murphy's body, pretty much. They shoot him with shotguns, mercilessly, they blow off all his legs and arms and just blow him to pieces, like ruin beyond repair, or so they think. And then the company OCP, Omni Consumer Products, who has bought the police station, one of their guys decides, let's turn him into a robot, give him a bunch of robotic parts, and now we've got RoboCop. And so now RoboCop gets to try protect Detroit and take down the awful bad guys in this classic 80s movie. 1987 this came out, and holy crap, Paul Verhoeven, you did a really good movie. And not just a good like action sci-fi movie, a good comedy, kind of a dark satiric comedy. There's just so many things in there so funny, like, I'd buy that for a dollar. Like, that's something I really hope we see in the new RoboCop. I don't know if they will. I think it's PG-13 and it's, it just looks very different, they're doing their own thing, but I hope they take s some elements like that, like, that's just great. Like, the dark, satiric humor in this is awesome, I love it. That's one of the reasons this movie's so good, but the action's really cool, and just the idea, yeah, Robot Cop, you'd think, this could be a really dumb, stupid movie. It, it seems like it'd be so stupid, but they do it so perfect, Paul Verhoeven's just good like that, I mean, Starship Troopers, I like, that's good, Basic Instinct. Kind of trashy, but good. Total Recall, awesome. Showgirls, uh, that's a really good comedy, too. Not for the same reasons. This movie, he, he's just on. Paul Verhoeven's on, and he makes such a great movie. And Peter Weller, not really known for anything. I mean, he's gone on to do Batman, in the voice of Batman, anyway, in, like, The Dark Knight Returns, which is awesome. He got Robocop as Batman. But that's just somewhere like, who is this guy? And suddenly everyone knows that's Robocop. And hopefully the same happens for Joel Kinnaman in the remake, because I don't know him from anything. But hopefully he has the same breakout performance as Peter Weller. The villains in this, real scumbags, real slimy bastards in a good way. I mean, the main guy. I got the muscle to put enough of this factory up your stupid wop ass that you'll shit snow for a year. Like, that's an awesome line, but he's awesome, a real dick. He's just, he says it at one point, he's just like, I hate cops. And he starts blowing Murphy to bits. The only thing that really dates this movie to, like, the 80s is the stop motion, the dreadful stop motion that's hard to watch. Because, I mean, I recently got the James Bond 50th Anniversary Blu-ray Collection. And some of those with, like, the blue screen rear projection. That's hard to watch, too. But stop motion something that really just, ugh, that, that ruins movies for me just because it does look so bad. And at the time, maybe it was revolutionary, but good lord, it's pretty bad. Ed 209 is so awesome that even though it is stop motion that I really don't like, he's still awesome. This giant robot that just, uh, the one scene where he's supposed to do his little thing, demonstrate, all right, pick up a gun. And then he does it, and then he's like, halt or... Ten seconds or I'll shoot you or something. And the guy puts it down and it just blows him to bits anyway. Like, Ed 209's awesome. And in the new movie, I'm excited to see Ed 209 done really cool where it's believable. Because, I mean, Ed 209 here is really cool. In the new one, it'll look a lot more realistic. And I'm excited for that because Ed 209's an awesome idea also. There's so many quotable lines in this. Like, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Free, scumbag. You'll move, creep. Like, RoboCop, just as a robot that... Yeah, there's the drama. Oh, God, is he gonna try to become a human again? No, he can't have that life back. Essentially, he's just a robot that says badass lines and eats baby food. This sci-fi, dark, satiric comedy action movie, it's a giant mess of different things put together in the best way possible. Love this movie. Infinitely quotable with all the great lines in it. Some good performances by all the people. RoboCop's a great 80s movie, and in general, just a great movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it now. I'd give RoboCop an A+. It's honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. I love RoboCop. 
If you like this review, like or subscribe, comment below, tell me you thought of Robocop if you've seen it already. And if you haven't seen Robocop, buy the Blu-ray, watch it, it's definitely worth it. What a great science fiction comedy, dark satiric action movie, all that. It's great. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time on our review American Psycho, my third Christmas present to my subscribers on YouTube and to myself. And then after that, the other ones that I talked about uh, in my review of... Small Soldiers, I kind of gave a little bit more hints, at least I thought I did. A uh, couple more movies. There's a Halloween franchise I want to finish. Then my favorite movie of all time, and some movie from maybe the late 90s, early 2000. 98, 99, 2000. It's in that area of movies. It's classic, and uh, I can't give, I'm trying to think of a hint I could give. Maybe I'll say a line from it. I'm going to twist it, because it's Christmas time, so I'll do it this way. Christmas, the time of year when you buy shit you don't need for relatives you probably don't even like with money you don't have. The only other hint I'll give it that is that it features Bob and his bitch tits. Got it? If you do, come below, tell me what you know it is, and if you don't, I guess you'll have to wait. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.